So today, if, if we move to the slides, um, we'll kind of follow up uh, the talk last Thursday and the lecture last Thursday. We were looking at air-cooled fan heat sinks. We're primarily talking about finned heat sinks, pushing air through them with a fan. Uh, and we'll look at the analogous example uh, today of looking at liquid cold plates in, in a, a design process and an analysis process for them. This will be a shorter set of slides, so you also have the next one. We'll get through this maybe, I don't know, half the time, 45 minutes or so. Um, and then we'll, we'll move on and, and finish, move on to a natural convection topic um, next. So let's, let's go ahead. I guess it's worth just defining um, a cold plate and what it is. Cold plate is obviously just a slang term in some ways. It's not, a, it's not just a low temperature plate or something. It's really a heat sink. Um, and for purposes of this lecture and this analysis and what we're, we're talk, we will talk about, we'll say it's a liquid heat sink. So no boiling, no phase change or evaporation or anything going on in there. Um, but it's just pumped liquid through something. Um, and I thought kind of before talking about why I use a cold plate and other things I'd give an example or just show what a system would look like. I think you were all familiar with these air-cooled heat sink systems and we showed some of them. Um, but if it is actually a liquid-cooled system. And, and many cold plates are not restricted certainly to CPU coolers and other things. And, but the example is kind of pulled because it has a nice model of it. So